All right, so we're going to be decorating a graduation cap today. This is a really fun way to add something extra special um, for your grad, whether it is you know, a kindergarten graduation or a high school or college graduation. My daughter is doing a um, fun little kindergarten graduation, so I am decorating this for her. I am going to be using heat transfer or iron on vinyl today. I'm using it in a purple uh, glitter heat transfer, and we'll be adding that to the cap. And then I'm going to be adding paper flowers as my decoration. And these are my Cosmos flower templates, and they were recently released. Um, very simple design, easy to make a lot of, easy to make in different sizes. So you can download these templates below in the video description. And I'm going to be using just a simple phrase here in heat transfer vinyl that says dream big, but you could type out whatever phrase you want in Cricut Design Space or any cutting machine software that you're using and then place it onto the hat as well. I'm also going to have a hot glue gun on hand. I'm also going to have this beacon fabric tap glue for actually putting the flowers onto my hat here because we are dealing with fabric and you could probably get away with the hot glue but the fabric tack is going to probably last a lot longer because it is meant to bond with fabric so I'm going to be using this glue today. So I'm going to show you how I build one of these little flowers real quick and then we're going to assemble this onto our graduation cap. Okay so for this very simple Cosmos flower template here all I do is I bend up the petals you don't have to do anything fancy, so it's a really great template when you want to make a lot of something and you don't want it to take a lot of time, but it still is going to look really pretty. So I'm going to use a hot glue gun just to place these in layers. And I'm aiming to alternate my petal points here so that they're not directly stacked, but they look like they're blooming. And this one more time. You can do three to four layers. I find with the smaller ones, three layers is fine. If you go a little bigger, you might want to do four layers or even five. Um, it's really up to your preference. And then I'm just going to grab a little gem and put it right into the center. So I'm going to use a white gem in my case here. But again, whatever color you want, you can even use a pearl if you want to go with something that looks a little bit classier. You could do a pearl option. All right, there we go. So as you can see, I made a bunch of these here. And what we want to do first is we want to kind of arrange our flowers and then decide, I've already sized my heat transfer vinyl and cut it out, but you want to think about your flower arrangement on the actual graduation cap. And then you want to think about the scaling if you're adding words and how that's going to fit in around any of the flowers. So just be mindful of that before you start gluing anything down. It can be good to kind of lay things out and get an idea. So I'm going to go ahead and weed my vinyl here. I've just done the phrase dream big since she's just going from kindergarten to first grade. I figured it was a good, you know, phrase of looking forward to the future and dreaming about what she might be. Now, when it comes to your graduation cap, if you're using a easy press, then you'll probably need to work at an angle with the easy press and kind of go around the hat because you don't want to put it directly on top of this little button here. If you have the easy press mini, that can be really helpful because obviously it'll work in smaller spaces. I'm going to be using the larger size easy press just to demonstrate how I will do that. First, you want to check your actual hat itself. How is it going to be worn on their head? So this is the back. This is the front. So I want to think about how is this going to be worn on their head. You don't want it to be like upside down or anything weird like that. So this is the front. This is the back. So I'm going to do it like that. You can pick it up a few times if you need to, you know, get the alignment better. Um, I'm just going to scooch this over a touch. Just like that. Now I have some liner here and it's not really laying down very well so I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut that because it's not important. It's just making it difficult for the liner to lay down. So there we go. Alright, so I am happy with the placement of that and now we're just going to press this down. So. I am using my Easy Press 2 here and I have it set to 350. 
Um, I'm only gonna hold it for like 10 to 15 seconds in each spot and I'm probably gonna have to press it like at two different angles. So I'm gonna start on this first, this side over here first. And you wanna make sure you're using a heat safe surface, of course. And you just wanna hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. We don't want it to get super, super hot because there is cardboard on inside, so I wouldn't recommend holding it for more than 15 seconds. And now I'm going to rotate this and do this side over here. Press that. And if you're using the Easy Press Mini, then you would just work in smaller sections at a time. If you have a really large easy press, you would just need to rotate the hat around carefully. Just don't press it on top of the button there or anything like that. All right, so with the graduation hat, you do want to do a cool peel, which means you want to let this cool down before you lift it up. So a good minute to two minutes before you're going to try and lift the liner because in some cases it hasn't grabbed on until it's cooled down. So you just want to wait for it to cool. All right, so mine is cold now, and I'm gonna gently peel the liner back. Just go slow. If it's not laying down for whatever reason, you might wanna reheat it. In most cases, it doesn't take a lot to transfer onto a graduation cap because this fabric is so light and thin, um, it'll grab pretty easily. So our heat transfer vinyl phrase has been added there. And now it's time to add our flowers. So I'm just gonna play around with the flower placement and then once I get the placement the way I want I'll pick each flower up and put it down so that I know it's gonna look the way I want before I'm finalizing anything with glue so I'm gonna go ahead and get this heat press easy press mat out of the way there and I'm gonna get these flowers if you're doing different sizes of flowers then you might want to think about putting the larger flowers to the outside and the smaller flowers as you work inside so that's what I'm gonna do the bigger ones there on the corners. All right, so I'm happy with my placement of my flowers here. I also thought it'd be fun to place a few extra gems just because it complements the center of the flowers and I wanted to fill the space out, plus my daughter requested it. Um, <clears throat> so now what we need to do is pick up each piece and glue it down. And again, I'm using this fabric tack here by Beacon. So I'm just gonna unscrew the lid. And I haven't actually opened this bottle itself yet, so I'm gonna need to make sure I unscrew that and remove top here and then place the lid back on. It has a really great precision tip which I really like because when working with these small gems it won't be difficult to just get a tiny amount of glue on there. So I just place a little glue and place it right down like that and of course you're going to want to let this set for at least an hour before you pick it up, move it, try it on, anything like that. Um, the fabric glue will take a little time to dry. So just bear that in mind. You could use a hot glue gun if you want. Um, I didn't want to do too much with too much with additional heat on the cardboard just because um, I didn't want to take the risk of warping anything. Um, it probably could withstand it just fine, but like I said, fabric glue is actually made to um, bond to fabric, so you're going to run into much less chance of these flowers coming off if this is something you want to your child to be able to keep for the long term. So like I said, you'll want to set this aside and let everything dry really well if you're using that fabric tack glue. But once you have done this and you've added everything on, it is essentially done and it will be ready to be placed onto the head of your special graduate. And then of course we've left this um, little button free here to be able to put the tassel around and it can just hang off you know, one of these open spaces here. I left some open space right here here and here so that the tassel can hang out um, wherever I would like it to go. So that is how you customize and personalize a graduation cap.